the greatest obstacle is probably uh, when meditation uh, comes out of a sense of uh, lack or neediness. So you feel you you are deprived of something, be it money or uh, a relationship or a living situation, and you feel there's a great lack in your life and you desperately want this to change. And so you perhaps uh, use manifestation in a way that is not likely to work when, for example, you use affirmations such as uh, I want a better job, I want a job with with a good income and a life situation in a nice place and I want this and I want that. Um, By making these statements uh, you're actually by implication saying that you don't have it. So you're also by saying that you're uh, there's a reverse side to your statement I want and on the reverse side of the statement I want there is the statement I don't have and I need and similar things please give me if you you pray to maybe God maybe you pray to Jesus maybe you pray to Buddha or you pray to the universe and say please universe please give me this please give me that that also doesn't work very well. If it works, it could be accidentally, who knows, but usually uh, that greatly diminishes your power of manifestation because the manifestation practice arises out of a state of lack or neediness, so there's no powerful manifestation there. The secret of manifestation is expressed in one simple statement by Jesus, and that encapsulates all the books that have been written on manifestation and will ever be written on manifestation. It's just one simple sentence. It says, when you pray for something, believe that you, that it has been given or that you already have it, and then, then you will receive it. So the important thing is he doesn't say believe that you will receive it. He says, believe that you have received it. So there, the secret is hiding in that statement, believe that you have received it. Now, the second obstacle to manifestation is, yes, people understand this statement, but they just cannot get themselves to believe that they have received something when they full know fully well that they have not received it. <laughs> so it almost looks as if you had been asked to deny reality and you just cannot get yourself to deny reality. So that becomes the second obstacle to manifestation. And the reason why this is the obstacle is that people do not understand the what what, uh, what it actually means, what is required for you to believe that you already have it. How can you overlook external reality and believe that you already have it? And that the answer to that takes us even deeper, where you have to become into full alignment with the power of the present moment and go deep into yourself. That is a the most fundamental practice where you discover who or what you are beyond the thinking mind and beyond the ego. Discover that in essence you are consciousness and consciousness is the unmanifested life that is the essence of all life, the source of all life and contains everything that could ever be manifested in external reality. The very foundation for successful manifestation is finding who you are in your essence. And once you've found that, that already contains everything that you could wish for on a feeling level. So you then, whatever you attain then, comes out of the state of fullness, not out of the state of lack. So when you feel the fullness of life that is within you, 
that's inseparable from the present moment, it's inseparable from who you are in the depth of your being. When you find the fullness of life, you virtually have everything already. No, nothing that you could obtain, could Im possibly obtain, could improve upon this realization. So let's say you want to obtain uh, great wealth or whatever it is, who knows, uh, how will you feel when you have it? Or, or you want to obtain, have some specific purpose, I want to create uh, uh, the most beautiful thing that helps millions of others. How would you feel if you had it right now? And this is exactly how you feel right now when you get in touch with the essence of who you are. And when you finally obtain it, you will feel no different. So you feel already that fullness. Whatever else, whatever comes to you in the external is only a, a reflection, a, a distant reflection of what you have found within. And so the foundation for true manifestation, of course, lies in the present moment and discover the depths of the present moment. That's the foundation.